Last week, we had a question about sending an internet signal a half mile up from a driveway, basically like the guest house, up to the house. A lot of you were watching and offered up your own ideas on how to accomplish this. Get your long distance Wi-Fi going. Yes. First, there was Corey in Florida who recommended, Ubiquity makes inexpensive carrier class radios that work very well and are easy to set up. They have an all-in-one power over Ethernet antenna slash access points called the Nano Station M, commonly used at the customer's premise for wireless ISPs for under 100 bucks each. <laughs> They're high power about 600 milliwatts and wow. have great reception sensitivity about negative 96 minus dbm wow negative 96 minus dbm well, yep like, that's never, pretty sensitive that's actually negative 96 <laughs> db that is actually really sensitive negative 96 dbm and since the ap and the antenna are one unit you don't have to worry about lmr cable loss hmm. you could buy two of those and bridge them and you would probably get about 80 plus megabit link that would be really cool corey in orlando especially if you didn't have to like think about connecting it yes. and building hardware that would be nice. Stuff. One of our Swedish viewers, Friedrich, also recommended Ubiquity Networks, but he's got a different product in mind. He says Ubiquity Networks makes these access points that have an end connector on one end and an Ethernet jack on the other. Basically, it looks like a ginormous end connector with a few LEDs on it and an Ethernet jack. It's powered over Ethernet, and because you have the access point on the antenna, you have very little signal loss. It runs Linux and is hackable as a nice web-based user interface, too. It's called the Bullet and costs around 40 bucks. That is so cool. I would recommend getting a pair of bullets and a pair of antennas to get a strong connection down to the house. Frederick, that is an awesome, awesome idea. And that's actually, anytime, it's just, it's amazing how many unbelievably sophisticated, inexpensive, easy to use devices have come around like long distance Wi-Fi. Nice. Especially with end connectors, you can put giant antennas on them. Fry eagles. That's yes. a joke, people. <laughs> right. Sarcasm. There Delicious. was some sarcasm that was missed last week, and I got a nasty email. So. Finally, we've got a microwave engineer who wrote in stating, I'm a microwave engineer and recommend the EOC 1650 access point client bridge from Ingenious. They make nice stuff, and it's cheap, too. I've actually shot a Wi-Fi signal two and a half miles, but that, of course, was up a 160-foot tower. That way, the curve of the earth doesn't get in the way. Nice. Anyways, this stuff has an integrated directional antenna, no RF cable loss, and is powered over Ethernet, not to mention it's only about 50 bucks at Tiger direct. You can configure it as a client or an access point. So you can do point to point or point to multi-point. Kevin, I want to set that up like in my neighborhood so I can Heck access yeah. my own Ethernet everywhere. That would be awesome. This could be this like mast rising up above my house with one of those on it. <laughs> that wouldn't be an eyesore at all, I'm sure. Have you seen my neighborhood? Yes. <laughs> so thanks to everyone who wrote in. The options are certainly cheaper than we expected. And if they work as well as they advertise, then Mark's friends might just be swimming in high-speed internet. Good luck.